Microphone check. You already know Mr. J Hill. I'm in the building. Um, it's a conversation with Mr. J Hill. A conversation with uh A G B Noah. Yes, sir. I said that shit right. <laughs> oh yeah. Hey, um, let's pay the bills real quick. Um, shout out to Whiskey Right. Um, oh, I'm drinking it. it. I just had some. A little, my my words might be a little slurred. I'm a little smizzed a little bit. I'm bullshitting. I ain't smizzed at the job. But look, Whiskey <laughs> Right. Make sure y'all follow him on Instagram. Whiskey Right. That's Whiskey Right. Uh, w R I G H T, the number one on Instagram. Make sure y'all get at him, all right? It's black owned too. Listen, man, if we ain't gonna support us, who else gonna support us? Nobody. Okay. My guy AGB Noah's in the building. What's going on, man? What's going on? What's popping, dog? Ain't too much. Shit on the work day, you know, ain't too you on feel the work me? day. Shit don't stop. Hey, um, you been, you been doing this. You ain't new to this, this nah, music shit. Not at all. You've been doing this shit for a minute now. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> And you still working at a nine to five? Oh uh, yeah. Let's talk about that. Shit, seven thirty six there. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm Shit, them hours ain't no joke, but shit. Let's shit talk ain't about not. that. Um, I mean, shit, I've been working since I graduated middle school for real. So that's all I really know. I got good ass work out there. You feel me? I mean, other than that, I like money. So right. You know, I mean, a lot of a lot of people be scared to um to 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 talk about their their nine to fives outside of the music. Why? Niggas be bullshit. <laughs> Niggas be bullshit. They bullshit. And they, I mean, they just don't like the fact that uh, of having a job, right? Nowadays, niggas just want fast money. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But I mean, I'd rather know I got a, a little bit of money coming in, about $1,000 coming in every two weeks just on some for sure shit. On you feel me? Just, a, just on some, no matter what I do, I'm going to go to work and that money going to come in when that shit drop. Nice. But I mean, you feel me? What a nigga do when he get off? That that's what they do. You feel me? Well, that's what he do. But you feel me? But you know what else, though? A lot of times, like niggas be be sleep. Like that money that you getting from work, you could put that to fund you. Yeah, absolutely, you know definitely. Like, I done funded a lot. I just recording. I probably just spent about like three, four, about like three bands, and just recording, just in the studio. Not even, not even videos, just songs. Just mm. seventy-five hour, fifty hour, just mix and mastering, just recording. Damn, like, you would think so. Question, right? Just curious. Um. You go to the studio a lot often, like you said. You spend yeah, like probably, three thousand. Uh, yeah, I probably go like, probably like, I say like, what you say? What you think? Like two, like three, four times a month, three, four, three, five times a month, something like that. I don't go as much as I used to, but yeah. I still be in there. But I wanted to talk about like that experience in the in the um, studio. First of oh, all, yeah. you got like a home studio that you, that you only go into. <sighs> Uh, I can't really say I did. I did have a home studio. Um, I did have a home studio. I was a shout out my man Spills. He definitely, definitely taught me a lot of a lot of shit that I didn't know. Um, definitely my man Spielberg. You know all the recording videos, all that. Um, I do go to Treehouse Studios and my man Chauncey. Uh, he's definitely the new engineer I started messing with. And my man's he do uh, he, he started recording uh, Surreal. I think you, you might know Surreal. Okay. Uh, but yeah. But other than that, I what made you switch with. though? Uh, sometimes I feel like I have a little bit more freedom when I go to Chauncey than I would have at uh, Spielberg. Spielberg definitely taught me a lot, like uh, a lot of basics that I needed to know and a lot of stuff that I would, a lot of, that nobody else would tell me, kind of mm -hmm. broke it down to the recording. But uh, so when I went to Chauncey, I kind of liked how it sounded a little bit more. It was a little bit more clear and he took the time to kind of explain everything and, and broke it down more how I needed to know. Okay. All right, let's jump straight into this music, man. Um, AGB Noah. Uh, first of all, what's what's AGB? I'm assuming that's like a click or something. I don't know. Nah, that's, me. I'm nah that's just my brothers. AGB stands for always going boss. Okay. About a couple of us, you know, uh, bam, click tight. All right. Too all right. Many, how how long ago y'all started this AGB uh, Sh family shit. click? Shit, I mean, couple of, met a couple of them years ago. I mean, met a couple of them nine years ago. Met a couple of three years ago. It, it's just, yeah. It's just, yeah, it's, it's just it how is. it is. That's what it is. Do you feel me? Yeah, a question I asked, I was asking somebody else about this and, um, uh, you relatively like young, you don't have to say no age, yeah. but how do you feel about like the industry in Baltimore specifically, like the music scene in Baltimore? Mm. Honestly, Speak on it, man. I, I I can't really. It's, it's me being in the position I am. I can only see what I've been. I mean, yeah. say what I've been saying. Uh, it ain't. I don't think like not saying that we can't do it, but I I feel like we need a little bit more. We should. We kind of should help each other a little yeah. bit more. I feel like. Nobody going. Somebody might not support the next man because they feel like he might get a little bit more. Them, yeah. You feel me? Niggas always want to see you do good, but not, not too much better than them. them. Uh -huh. So it's kind of like a like they say, like a crab city. But crabs in the it's crazy, bro. Because like outside, right? People think that we support each other a lot. 
like outside of the city like yeah. it's crazy because we always say crabs in a barrel and been in baltimore right but outside of the city people be like man i wish niggas supported us like how baltimore artists support each other and it's like y'all have no idea right i mean i i go a lot we do like I, lately i probably say like i wouldn't say 2020 but like lately i have seen a couple a lot of more rappers with names start coming together instead of petty beef and on mm. instagram and all that kind of come together uh get money together make songs together kind of promote each other so that is a plus uh, how, how has it been for you far as yet? like you've been doing this seriously for like a year and a half now me uh me i ain't gonna lie i should me i really only make songs i make my songs with me and me and my brother exactly. like i don't I, I don't not do songs with other people but i'm not too interested in paying too much for a feature right now that might not get me well, you want to too be much exposure for say i say pay me like a, a like a local rapper i might pay like a he might want like 1500 for a feature like that and that might get might get me like a thousand more views at that a little bit more exposure but ain't really no point of doing that it's not really building me nowhere where i need to be so i'm kind of just focusing on my how do you think the like the feedback to you in the city has been when you drop music and like not even just outside of your circle right like how do you like have you reached out to any artists outside of your circle and tried to work with them and they was like how did they take to you Mm, I, I a couple people uh <laughs> I DM uh Roddy Rex like a couple years ago to saying what this feature prices was it wasn't that bad it was like 400 for real it was cool I was just testing them just to see what it was for real. I didn't even think yo was gonna reply for real for real but I text Chaz like last year he wanted like a thousand I mean but they they ain't wrong for today they need their money too when they ain't right they are free. responding though that's I mean yeah and they, they responding too responding. yeah and so. I ain't gonna lie they do like I mean, when people see, when people see, I can't know. I don't know how everybody DM is, but I don't. It's certain DMs that I don't see. So the fact that they responded, I mean, and maybe it's because they see it's about some business. business yeah. You feel me? That's maybe why. But but speaking of the business, how has the business been for you? Because like this is it's more than just making music. You know what I'm saying? Like of course yeah, you're going. Yeah. To, you got your job. You're going into the studio like four or five times a month. Yeah. I mean, I'll be. I, you got to also put it. You got to put that money back out too. So you got to like music videos a lot of people want visuals mm. so a lot of, like I, I spent a lot of money on videos probably i got like eight videos out right now i just dropped probably my latest one was like in august but um i got a new one coming out in, in november like a little bit before thanksgiving but uh you gotta put the money back out into the in, into the into the, uh, you gotta spend money to make money for real for real like i want to know uh, what are some of the things that you that you've learned over this past year and a half when it comes to music when it comes to the industry when it comes to the business when it comes to just being an artist, you know what I'm saying? Patience. Mm. You gotta have patience. You can't. It's it's very few people get that get that real one song overnight and they, they take off. You gotta have patience because you can see another motherfucker that might have started a little bit like after you, but he didn't got a little bit further. So it, it might discourage you a little bit. But you gotta remember, it's your own race. You and, your only competitor is yourself. And not even that, right? Because a lot of times we don't see a lot of people. Who get that one song and they blow up right stay on for real yeah so it's like, do for you real. even want that no nah, not at, not that because then once you get that one song you're expected to mm. to keep producing like that and a lot of people don't want that pressure just to keep making hits hits because every song is not going to be a hit right every you feel me you, you might got 11 song tape and only two songs really bang on it people don't really pay attention to the other nine of them and that that didn't happen before so i already know so yo talking to you it seems like um you very like head straight like head straight like your head is on straight right yeah and um i'm just curious to know where do you think that come from you know what i'm saying like because we come uh, from the city and uh, it, yeah. we can go either way like Shit, most I, of the times we can go the other way yeah i mean I, well, I was raised i was raised out of the county for real my, my father's from the city but definitely i get that from my father and my brother here wise man business owner but i mean he grew up in poverty uh he had to do what he had to do to make some money he, got you feel me he did what he did but I mean he he set a very good example of what a man's supposed to be and take care of his responsibilities and still that in me at a young age I started working for him when I was 14 and I've been working there since I've had other jobs but he he kind of always showed me integrity and to take responsibility and ownership for myself yo um and I know like I just use this time to get to know you as a, as a yeah. person right oh, um, yeah. it's crazy that you say that because a lot of times well in my experience I see people like you said, I grew, grew up in the county, right? Like I, oh, yeah. I had a pretty good life. Not saying yeah, I was peace and cream, but I had a pretty good life. A lot of times when I see people in those same situations, they try their hardest to go the other way to make oh, yeah. a name for themselves. Where do you think you got, like, I don't know the exact word, but like 
for, for you to be like, okay, I'm gonna listen to my pops. You know what I'm saying? I don't need to go the other way. I'm gonna listen to what he's saying because this is a stand up guy. Where you yeah. think that guy? I ain't gonna lie. I, from? I didn't. I, I ain't gonna lie. Being honest, I didn't listen to him. I did some shit, got in trouble. And you feel me? I didn't learn my lesson, but okay. I didn't see how it's really not a lot of shit that I was doing or was thinking really wasn't worth it. So mm. then again, I still, you feel me, still need a little reminder here and there. You feel me? But I mean, it's. And what the more the story, I, I mean, I know it was right from wrong at the end of the day. So any decision that I choose to make, I already know what I'm getting myself. Nah, I definitely it. fuck with it. And yo, it's crazy, nah, bro, yeah. because um, just having this conversation, a lot of people wouldn't know that about you if you ain't see it, Real right? Shit, like beings, they they probably would just automatically think you somebody. Oh uh, yeah. That's not right. What are some other things that people probably would think about you? That's probably the opposite. Uh, I ain't gonna lie. I don't know. I mean. I don't really know how people perceive me. I know a lot of people say I'm a funny ass nigga. I just be, I just, I like laughing. I can see I that though. You Even though we, you ain't yeah. saying nothing funny, I can see you that. You feel though. me? I just be, I just say, I just call it how I see it for real. Ain't too much fake shit. I don't really like, you feel me? What I see, I speak on it. If I don't, if you feel me, what? If, that's just how it is. That's always been this real, it's real black and white with me. Ain't too much in the middle. But uh, a lot of people might, I don't know, they might think something like, I make a lot of love songs too, for real. Mm -hmm. A lot of people not, they don't really yeah. see that for okay. real. But when I make it, they be surprised, but that's really like, I gotta, I gotta, I can really make a lot of tapes with, with them type of songs. I really touch into that side for real. What made you want to get into that? Shit, I got my motherfucking heart broken. That, <laughs> I can't lie, that shit. How that, what age you was when you got your heart broken? Shit, that's really what made me start re recording for real. For real? That was like, yeah, like, I ain't gonna lie, that shit probably happened about, August 2018 and or like July 2018 and I started putting music out in in August for real. Wait, That's so what, how did we, we can't just fast forward? Like, nah, how did I, this I, happen? I, like, I explained it. Yeah. I mean, I can't I can't say that Shorty was you feel me holding me back or nothing like that. But I mean, once it once you feel me, once I got done dirty, I was always the one you feel me. How did me? she do you dirty though? Like, how how did this happen? Like, man, I, I honestly. Honestly, honestly, God, I don't know 100%. I ain't really care to find out, but I know she just tried to go a separate way, and the next day she was with a whole nother nigga. Damn. You feel me on some? You feel me? I don't knock it. You feel me? Because I know I definitely didn't do my dirt, but I was, hey, I was doing what I was supposed to do during that. So at that point, you wasn't fucking around at at all. You never fucked around on? I did, but previous years, because we had, we had a couple years in. Okay. But like this, that go around, I was on, I was on so, 10. So as a man, right? Let's, let's have man to man. Yeah, yeah. How, how, how can you as a man do dirt no matter when it was, right? To the same woman, but then when like she do something, it, you say it broke your heart. Hell yeah. How do you think she felt when you was doing what you did? Shit, I couldn't, I ain't gonna lie, I, I, I know how she felt. So mm. that's really what made me get to the point where I'm making them songs. And I ain't gonna lie, that's what, I don't even lie to people. Like, I, I ain't gonna call them female. I don't even lie to females no more. Like, mm. I, I ain't gonna lie, that shit really changed my aspect on a lot of things. Changed like, way of thinking, hell right? yeah, because it like, you when you get dirty, when you get, get betrayed like that, it make you, it take you to a point where you really gotta Facts. come back from Do a better. healing process. Like, <laughs> hell yeah, you gotta really think like, what the <laughs> fuck? Like, so, that's some real nigga shit. That shit, that shit really got, that hat, I feel like that had to happen to me Facts. though. Facts. Because 100%. like, yeah, I feel like other than that, I would have been on a well, on a road. <laughs> we doing a yeah, rampage, yeah, you like you're that but shit nah, had to happen. It's crazy, man. So just we we had all these conversations. And we talking about like real nigga shit, real man shit. Right. How do you think that shit your your way of making music as a person? Like how, how does your your background as a as a man and what you've been through, you're getting your heart broken and making you want to make music. How does it shift you as an artist? Uh. I would say a lot. I would. Like, I have a lot of things. I'm. A, I stay in my head a lot for real. So mm -hmm. it's a lot of shit that people think it's just like I'm always smiling. I'm always laughing. But I really be in my head thinking a lot. So I'm. I be overthinking. So when I make this music, it's like when I put this out. That's a lot of things that I don't speak on. Mm -hmm. So I go in the studio. It's, it's like yeah, like a therapy. So I go in the studio. I really write a couple things down that I really wouldn't say to. Uh, uh, the average person, I wouldn't say to my brother, I go right in the studio and record, and they'd be like, "Damn, that's really what you thinking?" Like, mm. so that's like I can't really me being me. It's a lot of shit that I can't talk about, and it's, it feel better writing about it than going in the studio. So Damn. that's how I release a lot of shit. What are some of the things that you got that that we can listen to, uh, project or anything, man? Let the people know. Uh, well, I mean, shit, I got I just dropped uh, August twenty seventh. It was against all odds. Uh, it was like a nine song tape. I got any type of vibe you wanted. If you want to turn up, if you want to reminisce about your girl, if you want, uh, if you want to get some pussy, get some money, whatever you want to do. It's all type of vibes on there. That's what I like to give people a little, a little versatility. Like I got a lot of versatility, so I like to show that it's not just gonna be one type of 
one type of rap or mm -hmm. one type of sing. I like to change my flow, and I, I got a nice voice for real, so I can sing on the I can sing on the beat, and it won't sound like I'm trying to do too much. Mm. So I mean, that's just. That's just another plus, so I can't. So really let the people know the, the name of the project again, where they can follow, find so it. So you can find it. I'm on all platforms, all streaming platforms: Apple Music, Spotify, Title, Google, anything. It's called Against All Odds. Uh, I dropped that like, August 27th. I, I got another tape called Intermission. Uh, I dropped that back in November last year. Um, everything's on all platforms. I got eight videos out on YouTube. Uh, all, all new music, so y'all need to tune in if y'all really want to see what's up. AGB Noah, listen, um, did I miss anything? Is there anything that you wanted to get out your chest or you wanted to say? <laughs> uh, shit, I ain't gonna lie. I just wanna let niggas know that it ain't safe. Mm -hmm. And I'm definitely ready to keep applying pressure for those niggas next, and we're just gonna see how this shit play out. Alrighty, man. It's a conversation with AGB Noah, uh, Mr. J Hill, episode 007. Yes, sir. All right, man. Well, 008. Yeah, yeah. Monte Base God, shout out to my guy on the camera. You already All know it's right. We out.